If I had to describe season three of The Wire with one word, it would be finality. It's the end of the Barksdale Bell relationship and their empire as they fall and the Stanfield Empire rises. The show itself nearly came to an end because the show was not renewed while this season was going on, and we didn't find out there'd be more Wire until a full year later. But this season is a tremendous season of television with some great MVPs. For the police in this season, Howard Bunny Colvin definitely deserves the MVP honors. His Hamsterdam experiment was bold, it was controversial, but it's something that possibly could work in the real world if done right and done properly. Colvin got tired of seeing his district go to shit and he actually tried something unlike a lot of people in the police department and in the city of Baltimore. Unfortunately, his idea didn't work, but damn, it was a good try. While Marlowe certainly is worthy of being an MVP of season three, for the criminals, I couldn't give it to anybody else but Omar and Brother Muzon. Why? They killed Stringer Bell. That shot basically ended the Barksdale and Bell empire, and Omar finally got his revenge for Brandon, and Brother Muzon got revenge for the attempted hit that Stringer called. So yeah, these two are the co-MVPs for the criminals for season three. With the great moments that happened throughout the season, the tremendous performances, the redemptive elements for a lot of the characters, and of course the sense of finality that we have if this was the final season, season 3 is a definite winner. It's debatable whether this or season 4 is better and I'll get to that another time, but this season is tremendous and highly, highly recommended for any Wire fans or for any fans of television. This is a great season of television.